In just a few moments, this video is going to show you how you can conduct your own reverse cell phone or reverse unlisted phone number lookup by using free sites and free resources on the internet. This will work for some cell phone numbers. It won't work for all cell phone numbers. If you absolutely need to pull up the records to find out who's been calling or to find out more information about the caller, I encourage you to go to yourspyingeyes.com slash reverse phone where you can access the web's best search tool and premier cell phone records database. There's a small fee attached to the service, but it's well worth it if you need to find out. So again, that's yourspyingeyes.com slash reverse phone. All right, let's get to the tutorial. Let's start with Google. What we'll be doing is, to start off with, we'll simply enter a mock phone number into the search bar and press search. Now, as a disclaimer, before we go any further, I need to point out that any references to phone numbers, people, companies, etc., in this video are purely coincidental and uh, have no bearing or, and no meaning other than educational and example purposes. All right, well, let's move on. So let's start with uh, a random number. I'm just going to make it up as we go. Let's do 614-529-5500. Let's see what we can find on this number. And uh, the only thing I know about this number is that it's got an Ohio area code, and that's about it. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay. So a few results come up, but nothing, uh, nothing substantial, nothing concrete. So what we'll do is, if you can see where my mouse is right now, I'm going to put the actual phone number, not including the area code, in quotation marks. And what this does is this is going to isolate this phrase, uh, or this, this key phrase, as being a complete key phrase in the next search. That means that Google will only display results that have this exact phone number in that order in the results. So let's go search. And uh, here the results are changed. Google only finds 614 possible r results for 5291928. And so it looks like the number that I chose might not exist, but that's okay. In fact, it's uh, even more realistic because sometimes unlisted numbers or cell phone numbers aren't that easy to find, but they can be found. Okay, so now let's try this search without 614. Let's see what happens when we get rid of the area code. And instead, we'll simply put the state, which is Ohio. Okay, Google narrows the results now to 25, and we can peer through them and see which, uh, which results might be pertinent. Now, if you know uh, the, the general origin of your caller, like for example, if you recognize the number as being a local number, or one that's definitely within your state, chances are they're uh, close by, and you can you can search uh, from their from your city as well. So let's say it's Columbus. And that might bring up some more results that uh, would be more direct or more targeted. Okay, so that's how we can do a reverse cell phone lookup on Google. Now, as a bit of a background or, or just to explain the process a bit, Google indexes literally billions of web pages. And a lot of these web pages are uh, fed in from forum groups, discussion groups, classified ad sites, social networks like MySpace, uh, and so on and so forth. And so what happens a lot of times is that uh, someone will go onto the internet and they'll post an ad for something, or they'll they'll sell a pair of skates or something like this, you know something random like that, and they'll tag on their cell phone number or their phone number that they're calling you from in the ad without without realizing that this number will actually be indexed and searchable on Google, 
And so this, this is primarily what happens. 98% of the cases in which you'll find a number on the Internet is when that person has posted it either in a resume or some kind of online media or purpose similar to that. So that's how Google works. And there are other variations. You can try searching for the number altogether. We can go 614. 5 to 9, 19, 28, we can, we can try doing it with no space, we can try doing it with no quotation marks and no spaces with all the numbers, and so on and so forth. You want to, tr you want to try all of those uh, variations. All right, the next site we'll go to at the top, uh, I'm not sure if you can see this from where the video cuts off, but I'm going to go to boardtracker.com. And that's, it. oh, looks like it won't be displayed. Let's try that again. There we go. This is boardtracker.com. You can see it right there. B-O-A-R-D tracker.com. And what this does is this search goes through uh, 38,589 forums across 51 million threads. Uh, these are discussion groups uh, across various topics and niches on the, on the internet that are searchable from one source. Now this will include a lot of, of content and a lot of information that Google doesn't include by, by its very nature. So again, you can search for the number there. This is boardtracker.com. Let's type in 614-529 and I'm 1928, I believe. There we go. So let's see what this brings up. And it looks like we have same sort of thing, just obscure results. Now again, this is a, this is a fake number. It probably doesn't even exist, and I'm just using it as an example for this video. But uh, in many cases, if if a number is on the internet, if you don't find it on Google, you'll find it on sites like Board Tracker and so on. You can continue your search by going to uh, the major social networks and searching across them. So we can go to MySpace.com, for example. Go to search. And the same thing, and and in these sites, oh, sorry about that ad, I'll scroll down. Uh, in these sites, you can, um, again, experiment with quotes, quotation marks, and again, understand that quotation marks around a given phrase will isolate that phrase so that the results returned won't deviate from that phrase. So, for example, if, if you want the entire phone number in quotation marks, it will only search for that exact phone number without deviation. It won't, it won't uh, display results that don't have that exact phone number. Now if that, for whatever reason, does not pull up their phone number, and uh, in many cases it won't, just because they haven't been online, again, head on over to yourspyingeyes.com slash reverse phone. When you get there, this is what it'll look like. Yeah, let's put that number in and see what happens. We'll go 614. 529, oh, different number, 529, 1928, and we'll click search, and look at that, it's got it in its uh, main records database, so the number is from Hilliard, Ohio, and the full phone report is available, this is what it'll look like. Now, there's a small fee attached to this. It is guaranteed. If you if you don't find the results that you are looking for, uh, then you can review their guarantee policy so that uh, either way you'll uh, come out ahead. Uh, Reverse Phone Detective is the premier cell phone records provider. And you can begin your search at yourspyingeyes.com slash reverse phone. Again, that's yourspyingeyes.com slash reverse phone. I hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. And uh, hopefully you won't have to use it. All right. Take care.